I'm gonna show you guys how to do a K24, K20. Here's all the parts we're gonna be using. A K20 head there with all the parts we need. Also went, get, went ahead and got a brand new oil pan. Pretty much gonna show you guys step by step on the parts you need for a K20, K24. Right here we have a K20 Z3 head. Just um, to stock specs. Took it to the machine shop, got a valve job on it, got it resurfaced and uh, fixed anything um, if needed to be fixed, which it only had a, vi a very, very light uh, valve leak. And it was just on a few cylinders, so went ahead and fixed that. You guys always want to make sure that your head isn't leaking from the valves because you're losing compression automatically and that alone isn't any good. So anytime you're doing a K24, K20, make sure you guys take the head into a machine shop and get it tested. What I did to get started was I took off the K24 oil pump and we're going to be adding the K20 oil pump because as you guys know, the K24 one is a big monster is staying up here so cleaned up our edges always make sure you clean up your edges same thing with the cover here cleaned it all up and then what i'm going to do first is we're going to go ahead and add our oil pump if you guys didn't see my last video with the oil pump kit you guys can go back to that video and see how you install the type s oil pump so I'm gonna go ahead and install that first onto the K24. All right guys, so real quick, just wanted to show you guys before I finished up on the ARPs. All you do is put the grease that they um, give you, put it on the end of the threads, and just go ahead, kind of guide it in. Try not to let it touch that uh, guide or dowel. And then you guys wanna hand tighten this as much as possible and there's no right well there is a right and wrong way to put these in but obviously you'll see the right way because they have an allen wrench top so they all have this little hole right here for the allen wrench so that's how you know the up position obviously real simple hand tighten everything and then when you do uh, grab a ratchet hand tight these until they just bottom out they don't let you tighten and uh, we should be ready with our surface. We're gonna do our uh, head gasket and um, finish up the ARPs with the head on here. All right, guys, real simple. After you guys tighten these by hand, just give it a nice tight snug as soon as it bottoms out. Uh, that's pretty much it. And then uh, here's your part number for your uh, OEM head gasket. So pretty simple, the head gasket only goes on one way. And then you want to make sure you have your dowels in there. And now it's time for that. All right, guys. So real simple. Make sure you guys lay your head on there real nice and easy. Make sure you try not to scrape it. The way I do it is try to overlook the head. And then just line up this first stud. And when I can line it up visually that it's going to go straight down, then I just kind of look over on this side. And, you know, just try your best not to nick the bottom of the head. But uh, that's pretty much it. Got our K24, K20. I'm gonna finish torquing this guy down and I'm gonna show you guys the rest of uh, how you're supposed to do it. I got the head torqued down and I'll just show you guys what I did since I did do it off camera. I wanted to focus and make sure that I got everything correct. So the sequence is gonna be one, two, So I did mine in three different torque specs. I did uh, 25 first, I did 50 pounds second, and then I did 80 pounds third. Uh, some people go uh, 90 pounds, some people go 100 pounds. Uh, this is just a stock long block, so 80 pounds of torque is uh, pretty good, and it's just what works for me. So um, I'm gonna continue forward here. What we're gonna do now is go ahead and install all of our side um, timing chains, our timing 
chain, our uh, cams, our um, the whole head assembly. So I'll show you guys how I put all that together and then go from there. So we got the cam assembly on here. Pretty simple. Just uh, make sure you put it back exactly how you took it off. Um, especially because this cam assembly, there's springs right in between here for the rockers. So if this falls apart, it just becomes a mess. So just make sure that when you do take apart your head, um, you hold these in place. It makes it real simple to put right back on here when everything stays assembled. So we got the cams on there. Uh, we did get assembly lube on here. Just got a little bit under the cams. Gonna put a little bit over the cams also. So that way um, we don't get no uh, metal to metal binding. So I'm gonna go ahead and torque down the cam caps and uh, go from there. Caps on. And just real quick, I'm going to share something with you guys. I think this is what's going to make this video different from a lot of the videos that are out there. Um, there are some safety uh, measures you're supposed to take with a um, any cylinder head and block when putting it together. So when your cams settle in, they're not always going to be perfect at timing. So once you torque your cam caps down some of the valves are going to open so you don't want your block at top dead center because if these valves open and you force down these uh screws once the caps are down and it nicks the piston just because it's offset um you could bend your valve just by putting your engine together so what i like to do is give it a half turn so that way cylinder one and four is a little bit down and everything will clear and it'll give me some movement to be able to put my cams top dead center so another thing before you guys uh, do your timing you also have to make sure cylinder one and four is all the way up because you guys can actually be in a 360 uh, degree uh, rotation and be off because cylinder two and three are just it's going to be top dead center not one and four so keep that in mind when putting together your um k20 k24s all right so we got the cam caps all torqued down 16 pounds and i'll put the sequence on there for you guys And then on these little guys right here, nine pounds. Out here, another 10. And then back here, you got another 10 back here. All right, so now that we got the head all complete on here, we're gonna go ahead and do our timing. We're gonna be able to turn our cams now while our um, block is not a top dead center. If you guys can see right here, this little arrow right there. This is top dead center. so. First cylinder is a little bit down right now. That's what's gonna allow me to turn the cam without hurting the valve on the piston. 24 K20 build. Uh, I got a little bit carried away, just kind of working on the engine, um, putting everything together. I pretty much went through everything with you guys, uh, but just a quick overview of what we did here. It is a K24 block out of a TSX. And then we went ahead and went with the K20 Z3 head just so we can put in RBC or even the RRC without having to cut anything or modify anything. Um, we did get the head uh, machined. We got it resurfaced, checked for any leaks. This is pretty much just a basic K24, K20. Uh, new oil pan. Um, you do have to use the K24 side cover. Uh, you will need the K20 uh, crank sensor. We went ahead and used the K20 crank pulley on here, which will help the rotation. It's a little bit smaller. So overall, it just works better than the K24 crank pulley. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys need any information on the side cover, the timing, 
the oil pump, all that stuff. I do have another video of just the oil pan and all the specs and everything you need to uh, get that done. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Real simple, real clean, uh, really affordable. You can find yourself a block for about 500 bucks. Uh, you can find a head, same thing, about 500 bucks. And then it just takes all the little miscellaneous parts to put it together. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Comment, subscribe, and I will keep you guys updated on the K24 Civic. I know we haven't done much to it here lately. Um, last thing we did was the Type S oil pump. And um, now I'm just kind of waiting uh, for a few pieces that I ordered that I'm going to upgrade. Um, so as I go, I will keep you guys updated.